See, that's the problem is people are trying to get other people to do what they want them to do. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Yeah, you know, I think about like actions and projects and, you know, um, high productive activities and stuff like that. I, I look at those things as like an investment, you know, like I'm building equity. You know, every time I, for example, as a real estate agent, we make calls and we call 100 people and we talk to two, we have two or three really great conversations, you know, that didn't lead to anything today but that's equity in your business. You know, you're slowly building equity in your business little by little. You know, when you do when I, like a project, projects I work on is like, I'll write a book or I'll, you know, work on a web page or make videos, right? For a long time, I would make videos, zero views. And, but I knew that I was building equity in what I was doing, you know? And sooner or later, once, you know, something happened and, you know, more people, you know, caught on to what I was doing, you know, maybe, maybe not. They would go back and watch all these videos. I mean, when you, when you see a YouTube channel with 10 videos versus 900 videos, you think you have a different stereotype of what's going on here, you know? So I, I don't know. Yeah. I think about it in terms of projects, but probably more. At so one point, did you feel like you had a click? Like you were doing, you're like, this is the key. I'm doing something right. The key for me, uh, cause I always worked hard. So that was never an issue. And I always believed that I could do whatever I wanted to do. But the, but the, the real click was, is when I realized I needed to quit worrying about money, you know, and I needed to quit worrying about, um, you know, getting the deal signed or how I could get someone to do something. Whenever I realized it wasn't about me trying to get people to do stuff and it was more about, you know, just helping them do what they already want to do. See, that's the problem is people are trying to get other people to do what they want them to do. You know, like, you know, salespeople are trying to get someone to buy or sell something right now today. It's like they want to buy some, buy or sell something in three months. You know, they want to take their time. They don't want to do it so fast. They want to make sure it's the right thing. And so if you step back and make it about them and not about you and not about the money and actually listen to them and say, yeah, you, that's smart. Let me help you through this three month process and make sure we're doing the right thing and getting the right place and making sure everything feels right. You know, and that way when you close, you, you feel good about it. You know, you won't have any second, you won't have any regrets or buyer's remorse or anything, you know? So yeah, that was the big turning point for me when I lost everything in the crash and read all those books and realized when I was on an oil rig working and I was looking in the tax records and realized there were clients I represented in 2003 and four that were still buying and selling in 2006 and seven, you know, when I was roofing a house or on an oil rig, that really opened up my eyes to the fact that, wait a minute, the market completely crashed, you know, but these, here's my clients out there still buying and selling, you know, why couldn't I, it's because because I was so concerned with the deal. I wasn't even trying to connect with the person and understand that, you know, people are going to buy and sell regardless of what the market does. The pandemic couldn't even hold the market back. I mean, there were still 80% of the same amount of sales and pending deals through the entire pandemic. And then it really exploded when the economy opened back up. The real estate market and really every market in general, I mean, you think a market crash is going to stop people from buying cell phones or milk or, you know, this stuff's just not going to stop no matter what. And once you realize that and you take the money part out of it and you, and you replace that with trying to actually listen and help people, you know, your life will completely turn around.